This airplane has just crash-landed in 2019, but investigation reveals that it took off more than 35 years ago. In 1984, a flight named JL-50 takes off from Kolkata, India, but a little while into its journey, the airplane starts experiencing terrible turbulence and a complete communications blackout. The flight goes missing without a single clue or indication about where it might have gone. Fast forward to 2019, an airplane flies really low in West Bengal over a village. The children there are shocked to see such a spectacle. They follow the plane and find out that it has crashed in the middle of the hills. In modern-day Kolkata, a man named Shantanu is watching the news, and it is revealed that an airplane named AO-26 has gone missing, and because there are so many high-profile government officials on the flight, it is suspected that it has been hijacked. Shantanu arrives at the Central Bureau of Investigation, or CBI, where he works as a senior official, and he is assigned to the case of AO-26. Shantanu and his partner, Gorango, arrive at the site of the plane crash in West Bengal, and they are debriefed by a soldier there. The soldier reveals that everyone on the flight has died except for the pilot and one passenger, both of whom are receiving medical care at the moment. The strange thing is that the passenger was found in the cockpit along with the pilot. This suggests that the airplane was, in fact, hijacked. However, before the three men depart for the crash site, the soldier informs them that this flight is not AO-26, the flight that they are looking for. This is JL-50, the flight that went missing over 35 years ago. Flashback to 1984, a young and aspiring pilot named Bihu is getting ready for her flight. She is going to be piloting JL-50. During breakfast with her mother, Bihu appears very upset about something, and it seems she's been this way for a while now. He mother advises her to forget the past and move on, but Bihu ignores her comment and leaves. In the present, the same Bihu has been found and rescued from the remains of the airplane and is receiving medical care. Shantanu and his partner arrive at a nearby remote village to speak to a physics professor, Professor Subroto Das. They tell Das that the crashed flight they have found is JL-50, supposedly the flight that went missing in 1984. They say that their records reveal only one seat on the flight was not boarded, and the ticket for that seat was under Das's name. They ask him why he didn't board the flight, and he reveals that it was such a long time ago that he no longer remembers. However, later, when Das comes home, he hurriedly burns a bunch of documents and photos, revealing that he is hiding something. Next, a news report reveals that a terrorist organization named the ABA has claimed responsibility for hijacking flight AO-26. The ABA is demanding the release of its leader, Partho Majumdar, who is scheduled to be executed in a few days. Next, Shantanu arrives to meet Bihu, who has regained consciousness. Shantanu questions her about how flight JL-50 crashed. Bihu reveals that during the flight, a passenger barged into the cockpit, stabbed her co-pilot to death, and demanded that she steer the plane toward a particular set of coordinates. As she did, they encountered horrible weather, turbulence, a communications blackout, and the next thing she knew, they had crashed. Shantanu asks her the date and location of the flight's takeoff, and she replies, Kolkata, 1984. Shantanu doesn't believe her. He thinks that for some reason, all the details of Flight JL-50 are being fabricated exactly the same as 35 years ago. He just doesn't know why. He tells Bihu that it is currently 2019, and she is shocked by this revelation. To find out more about Bihu, Shantanu and Gorango arrive in the neighborhood where Bihu's family used to live. They speak to one of her old neighbors, who reveals that Bihu was an aspiring pilot with a bright future, but her life took a downward spiral when she got into a relationship with an army officer, who died mysteriously after getting her pregnant out of wedlock, which was a great embarrassment for Bihu's parents. Things took a turn for the worst when Bihu's son was born dead. The neighbor shows Shantanu a picture of Bihu taken a little while before her disappearance with JL-50 in 1984, and the Bihu in the picture looks exactly the same as the Bihu in the hospital. Shantanu is confused, but he still holds on to the theory that the details of Flight JL-50 are being recreated for some reason. Shantanu and Gorango listen to the recording in the black box of JL-50, and it reveals the same story that Bihu told Shantanu. Shantanu asks what's the last recorded date on the black box, 
and it is revealed to be August 23, 1984. Shantanu is confused. Next, the second survivor from JL-50, named Mitra, wakes up in the hospital, and when he learns that the year is 2019, he becomes deliriously happy. He learns from the nurse that the pilot of the flight also survived, and his face becomes grave. He sneaks into Bihu's room and tries to kill her by suffocating her, but thankfully, a nurse arrives in time to stop him. Shantanu arrives at the hospital and finds that Mitra has taken the nurse hostage. He uses the nurse to escape. Next, Shantanu runs a background check on Mitra, and it is revealed that in 1984, Mitra was a physics genius who worked at the Kolkata Science Research Center. He was also involved with terrorist organizations like the ABA. Shantanu manages to get hold of Mitra's old address, and he arrives there and goes through his old research papers. Among Mitra's old files, Shantanu finds a paper titled Project A, and among those files, he finds a blueprint of Flight JL-50. Realizing that this is all somehow connected, Shantanu goes to the Kolkata Science Research Center to find out more. He meets a professor named Ashwin, and when Ashwin hears the word Project A, he launches into a story. Ashwin says that in 253 BC, the Indian Emperor Ashok realized that the knowledge of science and philosophy is frequently used for the destruction of humanity. So he gathered all the greatest scientists, philosophers, and scholars from around the country, compiled all of their knowledge in nine different books, and buried those books to keep them from going into the wrong hands. The books included great ancient knowledge of subjects such as the psychological manipulation of the masses, the ability to kill human beings with a single touch during combat, the ability to fly, the ability to communicate with extraterrestrial beings, and the ability to travel through time. Thousands of years later, some pages of the time travel book were found, and a group of researchers was put together to try and prove the theory, and the project was named Project A. However, Project A never managed to produce anything viable. Shantanu then asks about Mitra, and Ashwin reveals that during his time at the Kolkata Science Research Center, Mitra was very reclusive, so nobody knows much about him. However, he adds that Shantanu should speak to Professor Subroto Das, as he and Mitra were very close. Shantanu arrives at Das's place and says that Das obviously lied to him regarding knowing nothing about Flight JL-50. He places the Project A file in front of Das, and Das has no choice but to tell him the truth. He reveals that Mitra's father was part of Project A, but when the project could not produce any results for years, the government stopped funding it. Mitra continued his father's work in secret, and after working on it for many years, he finally managed to crack the code to time travel. Shantanu does not believe any of this, but Das says that Mitra finished the incomplete formulas on the pages of the time travel book that were found, and discovered that there were wormholes present in the Earth's atmosphere. Das was Mitra's student and assistant at the time, so he knew all about Mitra's plan. He planned to hijack an airplane and fly it into one of the wormholes. For hijacking the plane, Mitra took the help of a young Partho Majumdar. Das reveals that he was supposed to be on the plane as well, but he had a feeling that something was going to go wrong, and that is why he didn't board. He was later proven right, because according to Mitra's calculation, the plane was only supposed to go 35 hours into the future, but instead, it went 35 years. Shantanu still isn't convinced about any of this, and Das understands because it does sound far-fetched. However, he insists that he can prove it to Shantanu. He says that in a few hours, Partho Majumdar will be released, and if he and Mitra reunite, they will use Mitra's knowledge to cause serious trouble. However, they can stop this entire situation from ever happening if they hop in the same wormhole, go back in time, and prevent Mitra from ever hijacking JL-50. Shantanu is hesitant, but agrees to the plan. Next, Shantanu and Das arrive to meet Bihu, who is still having trouble grasping the idea that she is in 2019. Das asks her for the coordinates of the wormhole, but she says she won't tell them. She will fly them herself. The next morning, Gorango arranges a plane, and Bihu, Shantanu, and Das take off. They arrive at the location of the wormhole and once again encounter terrible weather and turbulence. Bihu is forced to make a rash landing into a vast, deserted field. 
Shantanu thinks they've just crash-landed, and the time travel theory is bogus. But then, the three get a lift from a vintage-looking car, and on the radio, they hear an address from India's Prime Minister of 1984. They realize they are back in the 80s, and Shantanu finally believes Das. He agrees to go ahead with their plan of stopping Mitra, but first, he wants to run a personal errand. Shantanu arrives at an orphanage, and it is revealed that he is an orphan, and this is the exact date and year that he was left on the doorstep of the orphanage. This is why he wasn't entirely against attempting to return to 1984. He sees a car arriving to drop off his baby self. He verifies the baby is, in fact, him by checking a locket around the baby's neck, which he still has today. He cries and tries to chase the car to find out his parents' identity, but the car leaves quickly. The next morning, Das, who was Mitra's confidant in 1984, says that Mitra and Partho will be meeting in a warehouse today, and they can stop the two over there. They realize they don't have a car to travel to the warehouse, and Bihu says that she can steal her car from her home in 1984. She knows where the keys will be and how to sneak in. As they arrive to steal Bihu's car, Shantanu notices that it is the same car that dropped his baby self at the orphanage. The three arrive at the warehouse and wait for Partho and Mitra to arrive. In the meantime, Shantanu asks Bihu if she ever saw her son, who was born dead, with her own eyes. Bihu says no. She passed out after giving birth, and when she woke up, her parents told her that the baby was born dead. Next, Mitra and Partho arrive, and Das and Shantanu confront them and their henchmen with a gun. Partho's henchmen start shooting at the duo, and a shootout takes place. Shantanu, with his superior CBI training, manages to take out all the henchmen one by one. Finally, he kills Partho as well, but Mitra arrives holding a gun toward him. However, before Mitra can shoot, Das shoots him from behind. Shantanu decides to burn the Project A papers, saying that this is too much power for anyone to have, but Das points a gun at him and tells him to stop. Das reveals that getting hold of the papers and the time travel formula was his plan all along. That's why he convinced Shantanu to travel back to 1984 because the original formula papers burned in the JL-50 plane crash. He wants to get a hold of the formula and become the most powerful man in the world. He reveals that when Mitra escaped from the hospital in 2019, he came to Das, but Das killed him because he wanted to become the only man to hold this power. A shootout takes place between Das and Shantanu, where Das is severely injured. Shantanu burns the papers, putting an end to Project A once and for all. Next, Bihu, Das, and Shantanu start hearing a piercing sound in their heads. It is revealed that since JL-50 was never hijacked, these three never traveled to the past, and hence they are anomalies in this timeline, and the timeline is erasing them. The three are teleported back to the present. Shantanu awakens in the present on flight AO-26, which never got hijacked because Partho died in the past, and the ABA never grew. Shantanu and Gorango run into each other on the flight, but don't recognize each other. It seems in this changed future, Shantanu never joined the CBI. Next, Shantanu celebrates his birthday at the same orphanage, and there he hugs an old Bihu, who is revealed to be his mother. It is revealed that Shantanu was dropped at the orphanage by Bihu's parents, because they feared that society would reject Bihu for having a child out of wedlock. However, because Bihu didn't disappear along with JL-50 in this timeline, she returned home, and her parents got a chance to rethink their decision. They told Bihu the truth about Shantanu, and she came and picked him up from the orphanage. They have lived their lives together being happy, and every year, Shantanu distributes gifts at the orphanage on his birthday. Shantanu wonders out loud what his life would have been like if Bihu never came to retrieve him from this orphanage, and Bihu replies, What's the point in wondering about something that never happened? The end. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like our channel and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Also, let us know what movie you would love us to recap for you.